Alrighty, this is the display case that we have here. One of the reasons we wanted to put this display case up is a lot of people, it's the first time they've ever been to Jasper County. So in the display case, we show some folks that they might be familiar with. Uh, Marlon Perkins, those who, Wild Kingdom, are familiar with Wild Kingdom. Uh, we have a famous James Scott, who was a, a ragtime composer, and Janet Cavandi, who is an astronaut, is from Jasper County here. Uh, some of the more common, or I don't say common, but familiar people might be Langston Hughes, the, the famous American poet, uh, born in Joplin, Bob Cummings from Joplin, and Dennis Weaver from Joplin. And even though a lot of people may not know the name Percy Windrick, uh, when I was a kid, my grandparents used to sing, uh, if you wore a tulip, a big yellow tulip, then I wore a big red rose, okay? Very famous composer from the turn of the last century. And John Beale was a very famous actor in his day. So these are, these are folks that when people come to visit Jasper County, at least it gives them a connection to the place. And so we like to have that here. Uh, a lot of these photographs and the help with this, we, we got from Brad Bell at the Joplin Museum Complex. So we're really grateful for that. Uh, this is a, a mural that came out in 1976 for the uh, Centennial, American Centennial, and it kind of tells the story of Jasper County, though I think it really probably tells the story of the city of Carthage more than it does Jasper County, because it ends with the courthouse, and it basically talks about the eastern part of the county and much of the eastern part of the county. One of the reasons for that is that this served not only as a county courthouse, but it was the city courthouse for many, many years. I believe it might have been up into the 80s till they finally built their own uh, city hall and moved out of here. But it's a really nice mural. Here we have Annie Baxter. You have an Annie Baxter Street in Joplin. She's a very famous woman in Missouri. And for the reasons that uh, she was a Jasper County clerk at the time that the courthouse was built, and she was county clerk and wasn't able to vote for herself. Now there's a regular joke that goes around here. She was the first woman to serve as county clerk and it took a hundred years for the next woman, Marjorie Bull, to be elected to the county clerk. And the joke is it took, you know, after a hundred years you've got to get a woman in there to clean up the mess that the men had made. So that's Annie Baxter, a very famous person. This is the elevator. The kids love to come to this elevator. And I think the adults do too. This is one of the last elevators probably anywhere you may find in the Midwest or even in the country where you can actually have an elevator operator that will take you in a cage upstairs and that's what this does. It has to be updated all the time and we're lucky if we can keep it, you know, keep it running just because of all the, uh, uh, the quality control measures. This, court, this, this elevator was probably put in here probably 1914 uh, before World War I. The amazing thing is though, when they built this courthouse, they had an elevator in mind. So they left this area open when they built it, originally in 1895. But they wanted this elevator to be able to go all the way down to the basement floor, so they had to cut a big hole in the floor here so that the elevator would be able to go on down to the basement. But it's really nice, it's fun. This is our Route 66 display, and we need to owe this in part to Chuck Surface, the late Chuck Surface that was a Jasper County Commissioner at the time that this was put in. And of course, Route 66 is a, is a wonderful thing for the people of this area. And I think Springfield has always been envious that Springfield did get their name in this, in this song, Route 66. People will always remember Joplin, Missouri from the from the uh, Route 66 song. But this is a nice display that kind of gives you the flavor of what it was like during that time period. The uh, Annie Baxter Award and Mar Marjorie Bull, the first woman after 100 years, she was given that award. Uh, so there was a, a great deal of uh, excitement when they had the centennial of the courthouse. We have a lot of things that are donated to us. This is a campfire girls uniform. Uh, they dressed up like Indians, obviously. But this was the answer to the Boy Scouts because the girls didn't have anything like that. The 
you know, I was talking about Percy Winrick. This is from one of the little songbooks. Uh, if You Wore a Tulip was a song that Percy Winrick wrote. Uh, and I love this. Uh, are you a camel or aren't you a camel? And say, have you got a hump? Do you sit at the table just as straight as you're able? Or all in a lump, 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 lump. <laughs> Are you a flopper, a flip-flop and flopper without any stretch in your spine? If you're a flopper, a flip-flop and flopper, then go somewhere else to die. <laughs> I mean, that's, I love that because, you know, that's, uh, that's the time period. And uh, so we were really excited when we got that campfire dress. That, 